What's going on everybody? Sean Daniel with Guitar Control here. Today we are learning an instant classic, uh, Shallow, from the A Star Is Born soundtrack. And it's really kind of a fun song that uses a lot of movement and open chords. So make sure you click the link below because I'm going to have the chord chart for everything we're talking about here. But essentially what we're going to do is going to sound like this. We're also going to talk about the bridge, but we're going to get there soon. It's really kind of three parts. We have the main verse part, we have the chorus, pre-chorus, kind of same difference, and then a bridge, right? So let's just get started with this part right here. Now it starts out simple enough, E minor, right? Open E, 2A, 2D with your ring finger, open G, B, and E. Now this is going to be the, probably the most important chord in this whole thing. Now, a lot of times you'll see this as a slash chord. It's really a D major chord, but it's slash, which means it has a different note as its lowest note. It has an F sharp in the bass, okay? So usually a D chord you see like this. Middle finger two on the high E string, this is an F sharp. Ring finger, three, B. Pointer finger, two, G. And then open D. Now the reason that it actually looks like this, right here with your middle finger on the F sharp on the high E string, or the low E string, same as, you know, same note as the high E string, but now this is our bass note, ring finger 2G and pinky 3B, is because it's used as a transitional element to the next chord, which is a G major. So, you can kind of keep your pinky here if you want to just do a E minor, D, G, okay? So if you look at this again, I'm kind of picking through this E minor. I'm hitting the E string, the A string, and then the rest of the chord. And that's gonna, I'm gonna take this E minor chord, my middle finger is gonna go a string lower, my ring finger is gonna go a string higher, and then I'm gonna make sure I have that third fret of B string. And I'm getting the root note, or the bass note, the chord, and then back here. So E minor, See, I'm getting that low, high, low sound that leads me into the G major part, okay? E minor, B, G, which sounds a little bit different than E. Now again, you can play it both ways, but you're gonna get a more even sound if you do it that way. And the great thing is you can kind of take the same shape, go down a string, I'm just picking through it. So this is a C add nine chord, just C major chord really. My ring finger's on the third fret of the A string, my middle finger's on the second fret of the D string, and my pinky is still just staying here on this D note, the third fret of the B string. And I'm picking A, D, G, D chord. Now, you don't have to pick the whole thing out. I think it just sounds kind of cool, sounds kind of faithful to a lot of the, what they do in the original uh, when you pick it like that. traditional D. Okay, so when you have this C at 9, all you have to do is pop these two fingers a string lower to get that G major chord, and then I'm just going to build a traditional D major chord here. And the nice thing about how this is different from that low inversion, is what this is called, this low D chord, is it kind of has like a nice ending element to it. So when you do the whole thing, E, low D to G, through the C, through the G. When you finish with that F sharp on top, it kind of has like a, a little bit of a, res, you know, resolution isn't really technically the right word, but it just has like a fitting sound. E minor, low D, G. To a C, G. Okay, so that's going to be really the main verse part for either of the male or, or female uh, portions of it. Now the next thing we're going to do is the, the chorus part, alright? 
Now again, I have the chords listed here. I'm also gonna add one extra thing that's gonna be more of a transitional element, just like that first one. So it's gonna end up sounding like this. this better than a lot of the, the other lessons that I've seen on this just because I feel like it kind of evens out and it, it just has kind of more of a symmetrical feel when we start with A minor all right so middle finger 2D ring finger 2G pointer finger 1B and I'm just really hitting it the exact same way I did the E minor at the very beginning where I hit the, the root note the D string and then I'm gonna take my ring finger it's gonna leave its post grab the G in this to make really kind of like another inversion just like we did with the D chord in the beginning part. So I'm going A minor, I'm thinking G, and then I'm grabbing the low D inversion here. And sometimes you'll just see like A minor to D. I really think it sounds better getting the A minor with the G, kind of walking, creating a little bit more movement. The second half of this is a very symmetrical way to move these bass notes around. Just G major, that low D inversion, and then back to E minor. And then a lot of times you'll hear this kind of hammer on, which is an E minor, your middle finger, like that. So again, A minor, grab the G, inversion, D chord, to a G to that inversion D, E minor, A minor, and really you can strum it in a lot of different ways. So for example, that's like a... Alright, those are all downstrokes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Same thing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two bars of that same strum. You could add some upstrokes if you want. And then don't forget the bridge. talk about that bridge for a second now it's kind of it kind of seems like a drastic change it's really a good bridge a lot of times people will say it's a bridge but it's really just like the previous chords just repeated and regurgitated this one we're going to a b minor 2a 4d 4g with my pinky 3b my middle finger and then you can bar it if you want to get that high f sharp in there one two three four one two three four two bars to a d chord Symmetrical, two bars of D, A, E minor. Now the cool thing about this is we have played A minor before. Here we have B minor to D major, and then A major, okay? So this kind of repeats two times. It's a very interesting bridge. It's just B minor, D, A, E minor. Again, make sure you click that link below to grab the chords for this. It's easier to follow along. The second time around is cool because it sets up the return to the chorus by just going B minor, D, A minor. Instead of going to the E minor, it just waits and hangs until you get to the A minor. And then you can really just go, just go big or go home from that point, right? All right, cool. So we're gonna run through the entire thing again. And I'm gonna kind of shout out uh, exactly what I'm what I'm doing and what's coming. So, so let's try it. Right? E, D inversion, G. Pick through the C chord. G, D. Let's repeat that. Skip to the 
the chorus, A minor, with that G transition to D inversion. G, walk that bass line down with that inversion to open to E minor. With a hammer, A minor, G, D inversion, which this also serves as the chorus, okay? So let's skip ahead to the bridge. B minor, Instead of going to E minor, we're going to go back to the chorus. And again, this is all about descending bass notes, really. G major, F sharp in the D to E. And again, it repeats a lot more, but that's essentially the gist of the entire song. So, really cool song, very fun to play, and uh, definitely something you should have in your repertoire because uh, I can speak from personal experience. This gets a big reaction live, specifically right now. Who knows five years from now what it'll be, but uh, it's a fun song to learn and it'll increase your really just kind of understanding of chord inversions and maybe why we use different chord voicings in different spots and uh, so on and so forth. So thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And then in the meantime, check out other guitar control videos by myself, other fantastic instructors. And if you have anything else you have feedback on or things you'd like to see more of, let us know and we'll get back to you as soon as you can. Thanks a lot.